Hi guys and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. Tonight I'm going to be doing another mirror DIY and these are some of the things that I picked up from Dollar Tree and Michaels and I picked these up from Family Dollar but I'm just going to go ahead and go through the list of things that I'll be using for this DIY. I picked up this mirror from Dollar Tree. It's the largest round mirror that they sell. I'm also going to be using some of these plastic diamonds and I picked these up at Michael's as well. But Dollar Tree has them too. I actually think I do have some of the ones from Dollar Tree laying around. But I'll be using these. And I picked up a couple of packs of these string lights from Dollar Tree. This is a maybe. And I picked up this little wooden base from Michael's. I have some tape that I'll be using. Some E6000. And I'll be using 16 popsicle sticks. I picked these up from the Dollar Tree as well. But Michaels has them also. And I picked up these little wooden things from Michaels. And they are called doll pins. And it's 20 pieces to a pack. This is a maybe. And this is a maybe. So I don't know which one of these I'll go with as far as decorating my ring. And we'll get to that next. But yeah, I have crushed glass fillers. And some glitter. Maybe some wood glue. I'm not sure if it's strong enough. So I might be using the E6000, so I'm trying to figure that one out now. And I showed you this earlier. I have the picture hanging kit that I picked up for Family Dollar. I'm going to use some rhinestones. And I'll be using my little pick a ripple tool. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this floral craft ring. And I picked it up at Michael's also. And it's in the same section as the floral stuff. Same section where you would get the crushed glass. The measurements are 18 inches or 45.7 centimeters. All right, so let's just take this off. So this is going to be our bat. And on each one of these holes, I'm going to add a popsicle stick. And I'm just going to line them up. Alright, so now this is where I decide if I want to use my wood glue. And what I have is the Elmer's Carpenters Wood Glue Max. And it says that it's pretty strong, waterproof and stainable. Let's see, bond stronger. What I think I'll do, I think I'll just put this aside and go with the E6000. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun to help me hold this in place. As well as some tape. So let's just get started on that. Okay, now that my glue gun is ready, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this down. So, I'm going to take my E6000. And I have my door open so I can get some fresh air in while I'm using this. And I have this popsicle stick that I'm going to use to add it to my ring. So, I'm just going to add some right around here. This is the back, so it doesn't matter. Let's get an idea where we want this. So now I'm going to add some hot glue right here and here because I want a really tight grip. Hold it down until the hot glue cools down. Scraping away any extra glue. And I have previously torn the tape. So what I'm going to do now is just put the tape over here to hold it while it sets up. Just that extra hold. So what I'm going to do is continue to go around and glue all of these down. So what I want to do next is take another popsicle stick and put it directly in the center of these two popsicle sticks. And I'll do that all the way around the same way that I did the first set. Now you can measure if you want to, but I'm just going to do this by eye.
So now I want to check and see if they're all somewhat even. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now that we've done that, what I want to do is flip this over. And I'm going to spray paint the silver. I don't want silver to get on the bottom parts of my popsicle sticks. So I'm going to add tape. So I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and take this outside and spray paint silver and go on to the next step. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see I painted my ring silver but what I forgot to do before I painted it is to put these little doll pins on here. So what I'm going to do is put one over each stick. And I'm going to use my E6000 along with some hot glue to put these down. Alright, so this is how this is going to go. So I'm going to put one over each stick and try to center it right over this hole. Grab my E6000. It didn't work out so good with the hot glue, so I'm just going to use this glue. So what I'm going to do now is just let this set up for about an hour. Then I'll spray paint it as well, <laughs> like I was supposed to do the first time. And then we'll come back and move on with the DIY. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what it looks like now that I've completed spray painting everything. So now what I want to do is go ahead and do my Mod Podge and Glitter mixture and I'm just going to paint the whole entire thing with the mixture including the outside parts of these little things. I have some Mod Podge here and I'm going to add some glitter, decent amount and use a popsicle stick to mix it up. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is use a regular paintbrush and I'm going to use it to paint these little things. And this is just to give it that added sparkle. I decided to go ahead and add the crushed glass onto the frame of the mirror, lay down the Mod Podge, and then pour the crushed glass on top. And I'm done with the first coating of the glass. So now what I want to do is go ahead and add a second coat of Mod Podge and crushed glass onto the frame. Just gently tap the Mod Podge on top of the glass. And like before, pour more of the crushed glass on top of the Mod Podge. I'm using a paintbrush to put Mod Podge down in some of the really small open spaces. Here's what the frame looks like after two coats of the crushed glass. 
I initially thought about putting some bling on the outside of the frame, but now I think I'll go ahead and put crushed glass on the outside. But first, since I'll be handling the frame, I'm going to go ahead and seal it with some of this Mod Podge spray. Now let's add some of the crushed glass to the outside of the frame. So I'm going to start out by adding some Mod Podge on the outside of the frame. I'm doing this in sections, so after you have applied the Mod Podge, go ahead and take some of your crushed glass and just pour it over the section where you added the Mod Podge. And then once you do that, just kind of scoop it in the direction of the frame, if that makes sense. You'll see how it's done in the video. Let each section dry for about 30 minutes and then come back and go on to the next section. Now I'm about to glue the wood piece onto the back of the mirror using E6000, but actually hold off on doing the step and I'll explain that later on in the video. Now center the wood on the back of the mirror as best as you possibly can and then anchor it down with some tape until the glue sets up. Okay so while this drying let's go ahead and remove the tape from these popsicle sticks because we are going to glue our mirror down. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I drilled holes in each one of these popsicle sticks. Because I'm going to add my plastic diamonds, I just wanted to have some kind of opening in the back so the light could shine through. This step is optional. I just grabbed some glass cleaner to clean the plastic diamonds before I glue them onto the frame. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some E6000 to glue my diamonds in place. And I'm adding some glue to the popsicle stick and just dabbing some of the glue right inside the top of the circle. After you're done adding the glue, go ahead and add one of the diamonds right on the very top. Now here's what it looks like with all the diamonds in place. I'm going to let this mirror set up for a while and then I come back and go on with the DIY. Now it's time to assemble the mirror. I should have waited before I put this on the back because now it's going to be sitting up high 
So to resolve the issue, I'm going to put this bowl here so I can pull this up here. So before I get that started, I want to go ahead and start adding my glue onto these sticks. I didn't put paint over the whole entire sticks. I want to leave some of the surface clear paint so I have really good contact with the back of the mirror. So what I'm going to do now is start adding some E6000 to these sticks. Alright, before we put this on there, so if you decide to do this project, wait before you glue this to the back of the mirror. Go ahead and attach the wall bracket onto this little wood piece, but wait until after you glue the mirror to the frame before you add this to the back of the mirror. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just add some hot glue in various places. Just, whoops. To help hold this in place until I can flip this over and add some tape. Now I'm going to flip this over and use the bowl to hold this in place. And now I'm going to start taping this down. So sometimes when you're making a project for the first time, you might mess up, but there's always a solution. Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit for about two hours and then we'll come back and see about adding some light to the background, but I'll let you see what it looks like before we do that. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and it has been about two hours. So what I'm going to do now is just remove my blue tape and the E6000 still has not completely set up. So I'm just going to take the hot glue and reinforce it while it sets up. And meanwhile, that would allow us to go on to the next step. Okay, so I'm done putting the hot glue on the sticks. And I just put down more tape again to secure it more while the E6000 sits up. So now what I want to do is pull this off. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do to complete my mirror is add some lights. And I have this little package of LED strip lights. And I'll leave a link below. And if I have a discount code for you guys, I have it there as well. So um, these are pretty simple, especially this kit. It comes with a little remote and this is the light kit. So what you do is open it up. Now it has this little USB connector and this is the antenna so you can use it with the remote. So you'll need a power adapter to put there. Alright, so 
comes with a little pamphlet. And um, I chose this one because you can disconnect it in various places. But yeah, all you do here, I only need this amount. So all you do is just take that apart. And it comes with adhesive on the back. So pretty much just figure out where you want it. And then you just start attaching it. Let's see. So this is the top. I want this to hang at the bottom. Alright, so I'm just going to attach it that way. Just like that. So the next time I do this, if I decide to add lights to the back, then I'll get a bigger piece in the middle. So I can just wrap it along the side instead of having it crumple up like this. But it still should be fine. So let's plug this up and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so now I have an adapter and I'm just going to slide this on. And I have an extension cord. Alright. Turn the lights off. And this is the remote. Turn it back on. Change the color of the lights. So when you put this on the wall, you'll see the reflection of the light behind the mirror. So I'm going to make sure that my glue is completely dry. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the wall. Okay guys, I'm back to show you. I ran into a problem when I hung my mirror on the wall. And I had to come up with a solution. And I'm going to explain to you what that is now. So when I hung it, I have only have this small area that's attached to the wall. The mirror kind of leaned inward, if that makes sense, like the top kind of went out. So I had to make it level. And in order to make it level, I had to come up with an idea. I had to have something that matched this height on each side and at the bottom. And I was able to do that with some more of these little things I put on the front, along with some popsicle sticks. And it's going to take three layers of popsicle sticks. And so what I'm doing is just breaking them doing three layers of two rows so now I need to glue one directly across from here and that would be about here so I'm going to use some E6000 put it on here lay that down grab another one put it right beside it and just keep layering the sticks on top of E6000 so now you know if you make this mirror and you decide to put lighting behind it then you would need to compensate for that space. Alright, so I'm just going to take some tape and I'm going to slide it right in here and press down. Then I'm going to take a popsicle stick and just hold this in place and press right there because I want to try and keep this flat as possible. Alright. So now I'm going to have to let this sit up. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to go and spray paint these silver. Because you might be able to see these from the side. So I'm going to spray paint these silver. And then um, once I'm done with that, I'll glue those on top of the sticks. And then I'll come back and show you guys what the mirror looks like. Okay, guys. Finally, I'm back and my mirror is done. Um, I glued these pieces on here. And as you can see, in some places, like right here, um, from me putting the tape on there, it pulls some of the spray paint off. You can just repaint that with some acrylic paint if you want to, but it's going to be on the back of the mirror. This is the lights. 
and here's the antenna plug it up and it's ready to go alright so let's flip this over so you guys can see what it looks like now I'm just changing colors with it now and now you see how it light up the back of the wall isn't that cool now you can also do this with the Dollar Tree lights you wouldn't have the same option as you would with these lights but yeah guys I really love this so I'm gonna put this on the wall so you guys can see what it looks like okay guys there's one more thing I wanted to show you before I end this video if you decide to purchase these lights, you can always detach this part. So on days when you don't want to look at the cord hanging down or you don't want it lit, then you can just take this off and just hang it back on the wall. That's all I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you are a subscriber, please make sure that you have on your post notifications. And if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe now. It's free. I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. Okay guys, that's it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.